In this video I'm going to talk about the uh, media container element. Now to preview the element simply go to elements and here you can find the media container. Now the name is a bit obscure, I'm not sure if it's um, intuitive but uh, this is a common way to describe all these uh, actions right here. As you can see, uh, basically the uh, element will display a, ne uh, a block with a custom background and a nice uh, effect of uh, hovering the a specific title. As you can see here, it's an even nicer effect when hovering the, uh, the whole element. Here, when I hover the this uh, uh, display uh, button will open a, a YouTube video and this one right here will also open because I specified will open any link you want in my case I just defined the um, uh, sorry <laughs> sorry for my stubborn um, just define a custom link. Anyway, I will create a, a new page. Media contain container element demo. I will enable the page builder and I'll publish and edit this page with page builder. Uh, let me take a second to construct this uh, page. Sorry, not this one. I wanted spacer. The spacer element basically adds a, a custom uh, this you will understand immediately what I'm trying to do and now I'm searching for the media container and I want to add them as you can see I just wanted to have a distance from the top and bottom of uh, this uh, element now I just remembered I could have also just used this section which it actually was much easier but uh, just to show you I could have done this uh, very easily specifying the uh, padding and specifying a full <laughs> width so yeah sorry for uh, dragging you into my uh, uh, yeah so as you can see it's much easier and I think much practical so now I'm going to edit this uh, media container element. In the general options tab we have the link type. Now this is basically I think is the most important part of the whole uh, element. Basically would you like to add a centered button and you can specify no link just media. And by media, you can go to background and style options. Um, choose, I don't know, an image. Let me choose a nicer image. I'll choose this one. I will add a background colored overlay. I love the horizontal gradient, so I'm going to say this. No, just some bluish and a darker blue. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, no gloss overlay. If you want to know more about the background and styles options, uh, there is a special video for, uh, especially for this, where it explains all these uh, options in particular, because. 
uh, actually this uh, this uh, option is very common into all the elements it's basically a shared uh, uh, option for uh, for all of them and now finally we have to define a height as you can see here we have multiple height values and I'm going to save this because I want you to see that uh, you can live uh, change this uh, height for this element and I'm going to go back to the background options and I will tweak this back background a bit so I will first set to no repeat I'm going to select uh, the center center as a background position and make uh, the background size as cover and if you in case you don't know what cover means it means that the image will stretch into the entire element as you can see it has stretched if I play with the height you will see that parts of the image is uh, is uh, discovered now you might wonder what these uh, heights means um, they are used for different breakpoints as you can see this one this value right here will be used for uh, a minimum of uh, 1200 pixels so basically uh, under this resolution the height will be uh, this one defined right here then afterwards between these uh, 768 and uh, 1991 this height and for general smartphones uh, this height right here will be defined so uh, now I have a simple pretty much useless I mean you can uh, make the same uh, same background the stuff with just the section so like I said the important stuff of this element is actually the link type so uh, you can have a centered button let me just add a text uh, just a text and you can specify this style line buttons which requires a text you can specify the link target whether to, you'd want to link to another page to a new window, a model image or to a model iframe YouTube, Vimeo, Google Maps and so on for the moment I'll just leave this one and the URL just going to add this so uh, it's just a dummy button I'm going to save it as you can see a very simple button nothing uh, special this is actually the simplest uh, option I'm going to switch to circle play as you can see here we have a, a nice uh, play button with a, a circle effect when you hover the entire element then we have the uh, lined with play icon as you can see it's a small button with uh, a play icon right here as you probably seen in the elements page uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I stretched the element onto the entire uh, width of the page but you can place it like here into a five I think five column uh, uh, element so moving forward you can change to border animation this is also a cool effect and finally the alternative border animation can see the this line here will stretch and uh, make it uh, thinner make the line thinner uh, well that's about it uh, we also have uh, 
the final option link the entire container and you just uh, have a plain uh, a plain uh, box with a, a giant link sort of speak or no link at all so this is it uh, this is the media container element if you have any questions feel free to ask and if you have any troubles again uh, subscribe to our support forums and uh, my colleagues will uh, assist you there so thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye